Yo, what up YouTube, it's Rain. The ma 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 mask. Uh, let me know what you think about the intros. Been using some different ones. Shouts out to the, the plugathon. Um, so what, what these are, these are a bit late and you know what it is, you probably noticed that I've done like seven, maybe seven or eight reviews in the last say six days. The reason being is I've got so much to get through and I'm just get through, getting through them one after the other. And then shouts out to Uncle Dad, if, you're not, if you haven't looked onto his um, YouTube channel or his Instagram, check him out. Um, he just kind of um, gave me a bit of fire in the belly with a few ideas, hence why we are locking them out. But anyway, let's get into this. Let's not waste no time. So this was, or this is, the Flyknit, Nike Flyknit Trainer. Now, I know people are saying, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kanye West wore them first. No, stop that. Let's calm down. Slow your roll. Kanye West did not wear them first. Let's, I don't know why these things always come into conversation. Kanye did not wear them first. He wore them, and arguably, he might be the reason why people are going mad over them. But from what I remember, well, the, the trainer actually came out originally in 2012. Now, I think what happened was the first person, I can't remember the dude's name, but the first person that actually wore them was a USA, a guy from the US in the 2012 Olympics. Um, I think he wore them or he got gifted a pair for winning a gold medal or something along those lines. But again, Kanye, when he had his affiliation, let's call it that, with Nike, um, started to wear different Nike products and, and, and wore this one and, and it came to fruition that it was a sought after trainer. But let's get into it. So, they've re-released now with three colorways. This is the one of the, I think it's one of the OG colorways and then they have a black colorway or Oreo colorway that maybe is yet to come out. Then they came out in a pale, um, a pale pinky color and then like a um, almost like a gray color so quite similar to this but the the detail wasn't brilliant why it was gray now complete flying it upper which a lot of people are liking some people don't I'm gonna give you the HD because you know I love to give the HD so you can just see the actual toe box is made up of um, different type thread which gives you the visual of the black and then the white or even grey um, flying it um, kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Can't think of it, but the two-tone, sorry. Then you go down to the mid, then you can see the, I'm sure I've done this before, you can see the fly wire, which is encased in the fly knit, and then it obviously encases in the loopholes. Boom, boom, boom. See if I can get in a bit closer so you can see that. Oh my days. Pity pow, as Lethal would say. Then, the Nike swoosh is rather further back. It's more further back than you would see on, on, on a normal Nike key trainer. But um, this is part of the appeal of the trainer, I guess. It's something a bit different. They use the placement. Because normally, the, 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 the swoosh would be about here. You get me? But they've done something a bit different. Then, you've got the... Um, these three hits, or the, sorry, three, I can't even see. These um, seven hits are 3M, so reflective basically. Um, and then you've got that tab that comes all the way down. And then you've got your fly knit trainer sole. Can't, very, very they, they are very comfortable. I'll give them that. They are very comfortable. But you have to be careful and get the right size. I had to go half a size up. Like traditionally, I'm a UK seven. I had to go half a size up in these just to make sure that they bloody stayed. I could get my foot in them and they'd stay on the foot. And then the actual toe box wouldn't um, this shape or, or or be in poor shape. You know what I mean? Um, then you've got this black line on the actual mid sole. Now, what what I was told, um, on, and and on good authority that when Nike do playing trainers like this in the first instance they try to accentuate the technological design so therefore stuff like this so if you think about the four percent where it's got the carbon fiber plate and you can see that line there that's where the carbon fiber plate sits now wondering what this is probably nothing 
But then if you think about what I've just said and you think about the fly knit, you can actually see, boom, the fly knit has been accentuated by a white separation if that makes sense but anyway inside is just a normal insole nothing fantastic there um these retailed for 129 129 i thought there were more and um, they come with um a pair of black laces could switch them out if you wanted to i'm not sure i would um and then you've got the original white laces let me just show you the actual Tongue. Then on the tongue, boom skin. What the fucking thing's focusing up here? Boom. On the tongue, it basically says the Flyknit Trainer, um, Nike Flyknit Trainer. All in all, it's a good summer shoe. A good summer trainer. Apologies, excuse my French. Um, it's it's one of those ones where. A lot of people have bought them because of Kanye West. And then you've got a certain amount of people that have bought them because they are a very comfortable trainer. I, I believe, I think personally, these are more comfortable than a Flyknit Racer. Some people may disagree. Is it more comfortable than a Boost? No. But it is very stylish. How would you wear them? I don't know. Google it. But anyway, it's Rain the Mask. Just giving you another one. I've given you about eight reviews in six days and not no bullshit reviews like quality you get me mm, understand that anyway let me know what go on are you feeling them did you pick up a pair did you miss them are you trying to get them resales probably about i don't even know if, i can't even say it's 200 i have no idea what the resale is going for but anyway boom skeng rain the mask signing o u t out